Hello friends, welcome to yet another fascinating session of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that today I'm gonna give you some amazing English idioms. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully to learn all the amazing English idioms I'm gonna discuss today. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating video on amazing English idioms. And as I have promised in today's video, I'm going to give you some amazing English idioms. So before I go ahead, let me quickly inform all of you that you will find some more videos on important English idioms in the description. So if you haven't checked those videos on idioms, please do not forget to check the links given in the description. So without further ado, let's get started with today's amazing English idioms. So friends, the first amazing English idiom I'm going to discuss is on your screen. That is every nook and cranny. So let me repeat once again. It's every nook and cranny. It's a very interesting idiom and it can be used in your everyday English conversation to make your conversation sound quite interactive. It means everywhere or every part of the place. That's called every nook and cranny. So if you want to mean everywhere, every part of the place, everywhere at that time, you can use this beautiful idiom, every nook and cranny. So let me show you how to use it. I searched every nook and cranny of the house. That means I search everywhere. I search every part of the house. In fact, that's why I'm using this idiom, every nook and cranny. So up next, we are going to focus on the second one that is on your screen. That is go downhill. Let me repeat once again is go downhill. It means to gradually become worse. So that's called go downhill. That means when something becomes worse gradually, that time you can say go downhill. So let me show you how to use it. After the brain stroke, his health started to go downhill. That means it started deteriorating, started becoming worse. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So friends, let us dive into the next one which is on your screen that is to the four let me repeat once again is to the four to the four is a very important idiom it means to become important and noticed by people that's called to the four something that comes to the four that means that comes to public attention or public notice and becomes noticeable that's called to the four so let me show you how to use it. Our team leader has brought to the fore some performance issues. That means he in fact has made all these issues known to all the people. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next we will see the next one that is go soft on someone. Very interesting and amazing idiom. It means to treat someone delicately, gently and not to criticize someone. That's called go soft on someone. That means when you go soft on someone. That time you do not criticize or deal with that person in a harsh way or you don't criticize that person harshly and you deal with that person gently. So that's called to go soft on someone. So let me show you how to use it. Sam's father tried to go soft on him after his failure. That means he tried to be gentle with him and decided not to criticize him perhaps. Maybe he was quite depressed. That's why. So like this way you can use this wonderful idiom go soft on someone. Up next, we are going to straight away dive into the next one that is sweep to victory. Let me repeat once again. It's sweep to victory. It means win a contest easily. So that time we say sweep to victory. It's a very useful one also. So let me show you how to use it. Our team swept to victory as the opponent was too weak. That means our team won convincingly and very easily as because the opponent was too weak. So I'm quite sure it's crystal clear. Up next, we are going to turn our attention to the next one. That is a stroke of luck. Let me repeat once again. It's a stroke of luck. It means something that happens luckily or unexpectedly. Maybe you are not expecting it or you haven't planned it. And it happens luckily or unexpectedly. That's called a stroke of luck. This is also an amazing medium. Let me show you how to use it. I had a stroke of luck and found a part-time job at the nearest library. I'm quite sure it's clear. That means luckily or unexpectedly, I found this job at the nearest library. It was a matter of luck and it happened unexpectedly and it was not something which I was expecting perhaps. So friends, up next, let's turn our attention to the last one, which is on your screen. That is at the stroke of, let me repeat. It is at the stroke of, it means exactly at a particular time. So that's called at the stroke of. 
so when something happens at the stroke of time so that means it happens exactly at a particular time or a given time so let me show you how to use it my doorbell rang at the stroke of midnight that means just at the midnight it rang so i'm quite sure it's clear it is used beautifully here and you can use it nicely in your conversation and make your conversation sound quite appealing and charming so friends today i discussed some extremely interesting and amazing english idioms for your everyday english conversation you can obviously incorporate them in your writing you can use them in your eye speaking as well as writing so please try to go through the examples and make sentences and comment below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to his thumbs on to get many more videos so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to his thumbs on